Alright people, we are at Survivor Series, Sunday week 1, November 1997. On the pre-show, we have typical tag match, New Age Atlas big number 1. We start off the show hot with a 5 on 5 Survivor Series elimination match. And it ends when Al Snow defeated Val Venus. And really, the only two people left I think would be Al Snow, Warrior versus Val. Regal, Regal gets eliminated, then, uh, you know, Warrior now beat Val Venus, and Al Snow has officially not been knocked off his rocker, changes to the Al Snow gimmick where, you know, he needs head and all that fun shit, and we're officially at the crazy Al Snow phase. Following the match, Mankind cuts a frame on Kane, saying he, d he doesn't give a damn whose brother he is or whatever that you don't attack mankind and get away with it or whatever you know and then Kane defeats mankind by pinfall to choke slam I think Kane obviously needs to win more mankind here you don't have a guy lose his first match and now that we know Kane's Undertaker's brother we're gonna see how this continues because mankind is a history with Undertaker Paul Bear never turned on Undertaker so and emphasize that to no end. Here, Bret Hart cuts a promo on HBK. Then HBK is going to cut a promo on Bret later in the show. And then following that, we have the 4-on-4 four four Survivor Series match with the Nation winning. I think it would come down to The Rock. I think, you know, it would have been... If I was booking this, if I was a road agent... I'd have probably Kama lose first. I would have him lose to the uh, drop the um, it's called LED move. I can't remember off the top of my head. Then I'd have uh, probably D'Lo roll up one of the LED members, and then he loses to Shamrock. So we're down to Ahmed, The Rock, Eddie, Sh Eddie Shamrock, and animal we'll say hawk loses so we're, it's these three versus these two Ahmed takes out the other LOD member after Dila interferes and then Shamrock takes out Ahmed and no scratch that scratch scratch that I think you want to have the baby phases outnumber or be outnumbered by the heels. So I think LOD should get taken out. So we're down to Shamrock, Eddie, then D Lo, Ahmed, and The Rock. Then we have Shamrock take out D Lo. Then The Rock comes in, takes out Shamrock. He tags in Ahmed. Eddie, it's down to Eddie, Ahmed, and Rock. Ahmed's beating down Eddie. Eddie hits him with the roll up. Then Rock comes in the ring, hits him with the rock bottom. I think because that way you can continue saying Eddie really never, like he fought hard, never fought hard. The heels, of course, don't need to be fighting hard. Just need to win, and they get the win. Following the match, you, you have Owen Bulldog cutting promo on x and Triple H. And that match ends in double disqualification when these two are just continuing the fight. And they continue to fight after a match and just doesn't stop. Here, hyping Stone Cold and Pillman match. I think someone has a promo, but I'm not sure. Nope. We go to the last man standing match. And Stone Cold wins it after defeating Pillman. He hits him with multiple stunners. I don't even know what Pillman's finisher is. But, you know, it's just a great back and forth. Current day match with a lot of action. Pillman throwing the hardcore shit, which is a rarity in my company. As of not a no hardcore division, they're real hardcore matches. So there's that rarity in there. So it gets good reaction. The writing should have been better. Here, HBK cuts a promo on Bret Hart. And then we get a video hyping it. And then in the match itself, we have Sean defeated Bret Hart by submission after after Vince McMahon ran down and made the uh, guy ring the bell 
what happened in real life transpired here. That's what I'm getting at. I think you need it because it gets Vince McMahon. He's not. He doesn't officially turn heel after this. Because I think there's reports of Vince thinking he was going to be huge babyface following the whole ordeal. And boy was he wrong. See, every time I record, every time, I yawn. I apologize. And then, uh, we'll give it a stone cold. But yeah, you know, Brett and Bulldog are going to be leaving the company will cover that in a sack. Actually, no, we won't actually, but you'll see. Severance, please. But Vince really, no, Vince has the interview on Raw with J JR. I think he will, but I think he's going to have a Jerry Lawler instead. I think I'm going to have it that way. Just because I think it's best. And then here, Bulldog leaves and Brett leave. So they're gone. Now, well, here's what's gonna happen. Uh, after this episode of Raw, it's coming up. I'm not recording it now. But after that, I'm gonna go play as e uh, WCW. Sign British Bulldog and Bret Hart and make sure WCW signs them. And then when they signed them, I'm gonna go back and be normal. Maybe I'll cut some roster, some of the roster, to make it more fair. And make it more competitive. But other than that, we uh, we just know that these two are gone, and then we don't know Owen's situation, and there's actually two narratives going to be in the next episode we're all about this stuff. So uh, that's it for Survivor Series, Montreal Screwjob, thank you for watching.